Hey guys, welcome back to the second part of this week's Coffin Hero Show, taking you through the new single issue releases out this week. Uh, plenty to get through. Uh, kick off things as ever with the variant side of things. So first of all, we have X Factor, number one. So big new release this week, another addition to the X-Men line, and Emanuela Lupicino, variant cover for that. We move away from Marvel and on to DC. So for Death in the Family, Robin Lives, number two, we have the Dan Mora variant cover. Always one of our favorite artists. Great to see them doing great covers on back titles. Uh, Transformers, obviously a big one this week. We're hitting issue 11. So first of all, we have the uh, Karen S. Darbo 1 to 10 Retailer Incentive variant cover. That is the connecting cover. As well as that, we also have the cover Bs in this week as well, done by Jorge Corona. Another cool one out this week is Iron Fist. It's the 50th anniversary um, one-shot special. So first of all, you have a great David Aja variant cover for that, who of course was uh, one of the main artists on the Matt Fraction run, uh, the Immortal Iron Fist. So great to see their work coming back there. We have Ultimates 3 this week, which is always a big release. So we have the Lee and Hugh variant cover for Ultimates issue three. As well as that, we also have the Juan Cabal variant cover as well. X-Men number two is this week, got a couple of variants for that. We have the J. Scott Campbell Magic variant cover. Uh, they seem to be doing uh, character uh, specific covers for all the X titles at the moment, so really enjoying what they're doing there. We also have the Retailer Incentive 1 to 25 variant cover done by Torin Clark. S uh, back to X Factor quickly, and we have the uh, Scotty Young variant cover for that, the usual baby Marvel style. We have the Power Fantasy out this week. This is a big one from Kieran Gillen and Casper Weingart. And this is issue one, Stephanie Hans variant cover there. There is a second printing cover for Hello Darkness, done by Miguel Mercado. We have, there's a, uh, I knew there was another Iron Fist one in there somewhere. Uh, we have a facsimile this week for House of Secrets 92, which of course was the first appearance of Swamp Thing. We also have this beautiful foil version. And as I said, I knew there was another Iron Fist one in there, so there is the one done by Kevin Eastman as well. So on to single issues, and for this week, as usual, we'll kick off with DC. We have Absolute Power Task Force 7, number 4. This one deals primarily with Failsafe and the Bat Family. Great to see Nightwing's part in Absolute Power there. We have Action Comics for as far as 1068 now. Uh, and with this one, it's Gail Simone continuing and Eddie Barrows. Love that cover, by the way. Absolute cracking cover there by Eddie Barrows. Up, up, and away indeed. We have Batman and Robin, number 12. So Joshua Williamson, Juan Ferreira on art for this one. DC vs. Vampires returns this week with World War V. Uh, it's the same team as before. So Matthew Rosenberg and Otto Schmidt on writing duties. Uh, we have Death in the Family, Robin Lives. We've talked about this before. This, of course, being the title that, you know, what would have happened if Jason Todd lived as opposed to was killed by the Joker's crowbar attack. Issue two of four out this week. We have Gotham City Sirens out this week as well. So issue two of four again. This is a weekly series coming out. Again, love those covers. Terry Dodson. Uh, we have Green Lantern this week. Again, another absolute power tie-in. And where is issue 14? So that is uh, from Jeremy Adams. And we finish off the DC stuff with the traditional facsimile then for House of Secrets 92. So away from there and on to Marvel, we have Amazing Spider-Man this week. Where as far as issue 55, Zeb Wells, I believe, is starting to wind down their run on uh, Amazing Spider-Man. We have Fantastic Four, number 23. Again, with the gorgeous Alex Ross covers. Uh, obviously, Fantastic Four been in the news a little bit recently uh, in terms of live action adaptations. There is Immortal Thor this week as well, where as far as issue 14, Al Ewing continuing on again with the gorgeous Alex Ross uh, variant covers. You know, Alex, if you're listening, which of course you are, please come back to DC. Uh, we have Iron Fist, so that is the cover A for the traditional uh, one shot here. Uh, so again, celebrating 50 years of Iron Fist, you've got five different stories there. Characters on, or creators on this, such as Chris Claremont, uh, Jesus Medina, Alyssa Wong, um, Frank Thierry, lots of good, great creators on that. We have the Marvel Superheroes Secret Wars, where as far as issue yet, bit of an infamous issue this one, I can't figure, can't figure out why. Uh, next up, we have Miles Morales' Spider-Man. So, of course, this is dealing with the aftermath of Blood Hunt, up to issue 23 of Miles. We have Sensational She-Hulk, number 10. Uh, so, Rainbow Rowell continuing on She-Hulk. 
a new Spidey team-up book with Spider-Man is uh, Spider Society. Enter the Spider of Bursers, so get your Spider-Man multiverse fix there. We have an all-ages title this week, which is great to see, which is Spidey and his amazing friends. So brand new number one, one for the younger reader in your life. Uh, Star Wars Darth Vader is this week as well, where as far as issue 49, of course this volume is going to end at issue 50, with uh, it going back to number one soon enough. I'd mentioned the Ultimates number three, so your traditional cover A just there. Loving the Ultimates so far. Uh, what else have we got? We've got Ultraman and Avengers. So one for the kaiju lovers out there. Um, Kyle Higgins writing this as well, so you know it's going to be good. Uh, we have Vengeance of the Moon Knight, or as far as issue eight. Uh, again, gorgeous covers there. Jeb McKay continuing on Moon Knight. Uh, Venomore Spider-Man, so number one there. Colin Kelly, Jackson Lansing, the writing duo on this. And uh, I enjoyed the first issue of Animorph, I thought it was really, really good. So I'm going to jump on this one as well. Always interesting when uh, the symbiote's anywhere near Peter Parker. We have Werewolf by Night, number one as well. So this is, uh, I believe this is just a one shot, uh, red band edition. And again, it's uh, in a poly bag, similar to the um, the traditional Blood Hunt was the red band ones. We have Wolverine Annual out this week, number one. So of course you'll get your own Wolverine story in here, but you have the next part of the Infinity Watch, which is running through the annuals. Another couple of X titles to finish. We have X Factor number one, uh, with Mark Russell writing on this. I must admit X Factor is the one I know the least about, so I'm looking forward to nipping into number one. X stuff's been great so far. Uh, and then also this week is X-Men number two. Uh, continuing on, Jeb McKay and Rand Stegman. We also got second prints in of X-Men number one. So just in case you missed out on X-Men number one already, or you're late to the party, we can sort you out there with issue one and issue two. Uh, independent wise, we have American Psycho issue five. So that finishes off the mini series. All five issues are now out. We have Defenders of the Earth. Uh, some great pulp stuff here from the world of Flash Gordon. I see the Phantom on there as well. Looks like this will be my jam. That's my jam. Next up, Doctor Who. We have the 15th Doctor. Issue 2 is out this week. Uh, continuing on the Ghost Machine stuff from Jeff Johns and Gary Frank. We have Geiger. We're now as far as issue 5 of that. From Geiger, we go to uh, Guilt Frame. This is... Uh, a new oversized book by Matt Kent. I must admit, I don't know an awful lot about it. Uh, one or two people have pre-ordered it, so intriguing. We shall see. Uh, Johnny Quest from Dynamite up next. So again, Dynamite continuing on with their pulpy stuff. Um, continuing on with their adaptations of sort of classic cartoons and stuff like that. So that's a brand new number one there. We have Power Fantasy. Uh, again, I'd mentioned it before. This is the Karen Gill and Casper Weingard uh, series, which is kicking off. It's all about there being six superheroes in the world with unlimited power to do whatever, but they all have different ideas about what they should do. Uh, Precious Metal is next up. This is from the world of Little Bird, of course. I've talked very highly about this before. Darcy Van Polgeese and Ian Bertram art. Ian Bertram's art alone is enough to secure this purchase. This is one of the best looking comics you will ever see. Uh, next up, we have... <clears throat> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Night Watcher, so a mini series here, uh, um, coming out of the TMNT line. Do I see Juni Ba involved? Yes, I do. Of course, doing such great work through The Boy Wonder. And then I believe we are finishing off then with one of the biggest ones as ever New Transformers this week, issue 11, Danny Warren Johnson, Jorge Corona. Just great, great stuff. So yeah, that is everything in, it is going on to the racks this week. Uh, pull lists are, of course, done, unorganized and ready to go. You can certainly check out our uh, video for new stuff in this week in terms of graphic novels and so forth. And you can also check in the little primer video I did for DC All In to give you an idea of the uh, the new stuff coming there from DC in October. So as ever, guys, hope this proved useful. Um, I hope it kept you entertained for 10 minutes. And uh, I look forward to seeing you in the store throughout the week. So until I see you... And until next time, take it easy.